yes, the XJ needs some brakes. Welcome back to Johnny's XJ. Let's do the brake calipers. Okay, so we've got the caliper cleaned up best we can. These are the pistons that came out of it. I actually mashed them up with the mole grips. These are the pistons I'm going to be using. It's a bit of corrosion down the bottom, but I think that should be alright. They are quite hot. Well, I don't know if that's going to affect me putting them in. A new seal kit. I was a bit worried that some of them might have a chamfer on them. You have to make sure you put them in the right way, but I can't see no chamfer whatsoever. So I've had the book look at the book, read it five times, and it doesn't say nothing about which way around to put them in. It just says all it says is don't put the big one in the small hole and the little one in the big hole. So I won't do that. So let's try the big one first. It's not big and old, isn't it? So dip, dip it in your brake fluid. fiddly aren't they, not very easy to put in. So that's number one. So the thin one. Well they're pretty fiddly but I think that's it. Try a piston, shall we? Oh yes. I think that's got it. the small piston. Three down, one to go. Try the other piston.
hopefully that's sorted. Let's go and paint it. Okay, let's get this footrest and brake panel back together. That obviously must go in there, so get a bit of grease. Stick it in there. Again. Grease on your pin. Push that into place. There should be a washer on the bottom. See if I can find a washer. That me washers. Let's try that. Got a pin. Brake shaft back in, plenty of grease. So I've got an idea. So I don't know if you can see there's a little dot on there, a little groove on there. So that lines up with that. Perfect. So now that's on now we know which way the springs go. Let's put our brake light switch in. Spring there, where's that? There we This is our old master cylinder, but uh, I'm not going to trust that that's going to work, so I bought a new one. But I didn't buy a new one. This was bought for me for Christmas for the uh, CBR project. But then I changed my mind and did this project instead. But. Uh, I'll use it on this one. That go on there, that go on there. There is a problem if you can see. The fork on there is not quite big enough. So what I'm going to have to do is move that one off. screw the original one back on. And if I line it up with the holes, 
perfect. Here's the pin. Let me grease around them bits. They're a bit long and I've just suck that suck them off. So just cook cook them off. Okay, let's refit our uh, footrest thing in my bob, thing in my jig. To the brakes. There's pin in. Your second pad in. There's a little hole down there for your oil clip. Bit fiddly, but not too bad. There we are. That's one oil clip in. this bit <laughs> line your all up again ready for your all clip Just clips on. Back so. Then we can fit it to the bike, I think. Just 
two bolts. Leave them fairly loose for now. And the pipe should just go onto there. I can find the banjo bolt. Found it. Is that? Tighten the tubber in. Then we can fit our reservoir. Then we can cut our pipe to size. See if anything happens. Yes, bubbles. Pretty little bubbles floating in the floating in the thing. All the levels drop from up there down to there, so it must be going in. I'll need to try and find some pipe to put on our nipples. Have a look for some pipe. Okay, so I've found some pipe. This brake caliper has two nipples, one either side. I've run the pipes down into a tube. So hopefully. There's no spillage of brake fluid onto the bike. So, one do one nipple. Oh, but you can hear a noise. Press the brake, close the nipple, lift the brake up. Open the nipple, press the brake, close the nipple up, let go of the brake and so on and so on as I'm sure you all know. So I'll just carry on doing that until we get some sort of pressure. I'll do this one first because it's the nearest to the feed. The other one's further away so I don't know. Maybe I should do the one further away, I don't know. I'll just see how we get on. Even done that side yet. <laughs> yes, the brake pedal is pretty solid. Don't sound very nice though, does it? you do keep an eye on your 
reservoir because it goes down pretty quick. The pedal is solid. Okay, let's do the front caliper. One of them anyway. Put a bit of grease on your rubber thing to help you push it through. one through. Put your little silver square clips on. Great home. Need to set your brake galloper. And that's one side more side to do. Okay that's the other side all built. Let's put it on. Now all we've got to do is connect some pipes. Okay, let's connect our brake lines. There's two on here, aren't there? You can tell by the size of the bloody what's it. And that goes on second. And that goes in there. Over there like that. If my memory serves me right. Then that goes up to the brake lever. And that must have gone on there like that. God, I don't know if I like the setup. So it goes there isn't it, to hold it to find them clips. I don't like all that lava. He very clever, does it? Okay, can't fix the brake lever without any handlebars. Okay, we've been waiting a long time to put these on.
So be very careful and don't overfill it like I have. Because when you press the brake, it does spurt back up. So press the brake very gently. And it's starting to go down. So be very careful and don't overfill it like I have. Because when you press the brake, it does spurt back up. So press the brake very gently. And it's starting to go down. Make sure there's no leaks. There she blows. Now let's try the other side. Let's try it to the side. Just keep pumping your brake and you should get there eventually. Okay, let's just uh, raise the wheel off the floor so we can test the brake. Let's try that. That's better. Ooh. Ooh. Tighten all this up yet, that's why it's making a noise. Love it, that is the brakes done. Now, then, I don't really like making videos about brakes because brakes are a serious thing, you know, and if people follow what I do by the book. It could be wrong. You know, brakes are pretty serious. They're like a uh, spine surgeon or brain surgeon complications, according to people on YouTube anyway. So don't take my word for it, but my brakes are done. So thank you for being with me, and thank you for your company, and thank you for watching my videos. And thank you for all the comments, and thank you for giving me a thumbs up, and thank you for subscribing, and what else can I say thank you for? It's like the Oscars, isn't it? Anyway, thank you for everything. You make it all worthwhile, and look how far I've come. See you next Sunday. Guy was a young boy. A school teacher brought him to school. A mother engine. But he put it in to the workshop boys. And then he started it up with a whole piece of work. And a smell and the sound changed my life forever. I see you in another life, brother.